All right, moving on to a different topic now. Economists are sounding the alarm on rising mortgage rates, predicting that they could reach 8% if the Federal Reserve keeps hiking interest rates. Right now, the 30-year fixed mortgage rate is at its highest level in 22 years. Charles Payne is the host of Making Money on Fox Business. I want to put up the Freddie Mac graph of where mortgage interest rates have gone since Joe Biden took office. And other than a slight dip earlier this year, look at that. It's a steady race to the top for both the 30-year and and the 15-year firm. If it hits 8% with another Fed rate hike, Charles, is that a psychological barrier that really could slow things down in terms of home sales and new home construction? It's a psychological and a monetary barrier. <laughs> so, I mean, this is, John, I, th I think the great thing about that chart is how fast it went up. I th you know, because we had inflation come, a 40-year inflation that we hadn't seen in a generation from all of the money that was poured into this economy, and I argue a lot of it was unnecessary, uh, we're dealing with the consequences of that. Yeah, the Federal Reserve, we just saw the minutes yesterday from their last meeting, looks like they're going to continue to raise rates. We don't know how many more times, but it's not unreasonable that 8% would be the key. Now, here's what's so unique about this. Because rates went up so quickly, you have a lot of folks who own homes, and they're paying mortgages at 3% or less. So now you're talking about mortgages at 8%. Well, it's good if you all have a house and you're paying uh, 2% and you, mm -hmm. you bought a $500,000 house and you love it, but you can't move. Mm -hmm. You can't move. Even if you make a profit, you can't move because your ensuing mortgage would be so much, it would erase all of the gains. How does this impact the economy? Obviously, the housing market is critical to the economy. People can't move for new jobs. Uh, and then there's the psychological aspect of this you're talking about. Right now, at this very moment, Goldman Sachs says housing affordability is the worst it's ever been in this country. That hurts new housing, new home, uh, house developments. People aren't going to get married. Uh, there's no starter homes out there. So the, 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 the overall impact of this, directly and indirectly, is, is, is mind-boggling, and it's getting worse every day. Yeah, I'll tell you, though, real estate prices are still off the charts in so many places.